Uh, it's always amazing to see how technology can help solve some of life's biggest problems. And tonight, we've got an example, about to give dairy and petrol station owners some much needed peace of mind. Stores are set to trial, 54 stores are set to trial a new DNA spray, which can be sprayed onto an assailant by an owner, making the offender traceable for up to two weeks. Police will then be able to match the person with the store location. Billy Jo Ropeha went to see exactly how it works. It's the stuff of science fiction. Even if an innocent person gets sprayed, it's not toxic. This DNA spray is the latest tool in the police arsenal to prevent crime. Look at that. Caught blue-handed. Inspector Naila Hassan. Police are really excited about this. <laughs> These offenders are getting more bold, uh, they're getting more aggressive. Selecta DNA is the world's most effective robbery and commercial burglary deterrent. As criminals know that DNA is the police's most powerful weapon. When a shop is being robbed, the person behind the counter activates the DNA device. It sprays the robber as they leave the store. Emitting a colorless and unique synthetic DNA fluid to link the criminal to the crime scene. The tiny DNA spores can be detected for several weeks on the skin and up to six months on clothes using UV lights. David Morrissey sells the devices here in New Zealand and Australia. Prevention and deterrent. We actually had our first conviction relating to a spray being used at the Bank of New Zealand in Manukau in 2014. And the device is proving successful in America. Five months, Lee's got hit every month until April when the store installed the synthetic DNA spray. I think 11, 12 weeks going on now with no incidents here. And we're looking forward to the next 11, 12 weeks with no incidents as well. And if it can prevent aggravated robbery, back here, that's a price the police are willing to pay. That is the whole reason why we've been funded $1.8 million from the government to prevent aggravated robberies. The money is also being used on a crime prevention package, which includes fog cannons, which impair vision, and supersonic horns, which let out a piercing sound. At the end of the day, I don't know what it costs to the country, but for us as an organisation, we talk about victimisation. We want to keep our communities safe and we want to prevent victimisation. How do you measure the cost of how badly victimised these poor shop owners are um, when they get terrorised by youth, mainly youth, going into their stores?